this is such a wonderful morning for mentors because y'all all know how important a mentor is. So Oz is going to help us with mentors are everywhere because y'all know everywhere is everywhere. So let's hear and get enthused with Asta and mentors are everywhere, y'all. Let's give a hand. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sterling. I got a message that your network bandwidth is low. You may want to look into it. All right. Our next speaker is Asta. When she was young, she somehow didn't learn a lot of things. Asta lived her life in fear, hiding, and escaping from the world until she hit bottom in 2002, when she went into recovery and got her first mentor, also known as a sponsor. In her speech titled, Mentors Are Everywhere, y'all, Asta will speak, share with us a little bit about that relationship and others. Please help us welcome Asta Starr. Thank you, Master Toastmaster, and welcome everybody, y'all. I have to say, I'm from New Orleans, and I was raised by a Yankee father and a Colombian mother, uh, Colombian South American. And growing up in New Orleans, we weren't allowed to say y'all in the house because my dad didn't like the word y'all. So it was you guys is what we were supposed to say. And Honestly, although I was raised in a middle-class America society and family where everything looked good, I went to a proper school and I had a proper uniform that I wore all the time. And I looked on the outside and the family looked on the outside like everything was proper and perfect. On the inside, it wasn't, right? Um, both my parents were alcoholics and addicts, and I grew up in this life where hiding was everything. I even had to hide the fact that I grew up in the South and was able to use the word y'all and child like all my other friends did. So I wasn't even allowed to speak Southern even though I was born and raised there my entire life. And what that did for me was it caused me to hide my entire life in every aspect and through the hiding and the fear that i lived of being seen of course and coming from a world of addictions i went into my own addictions and it wasn't until 2002 when i was 29 years old three months before my 30th birthday i said something's got to change i can't live like this and that i went into recovery and got my first mentor considered a sponsor. And that sponsor and the recovery taught me that of course I can't know it all, and of course I need to have role models and somebody anywhere can help me. And so mentors are everywhere. There's always the person who knows a little bit more than you do about anything that can help you, that can take you under their wings. Some people call it a coach if it's just one thing that you're looking to get help for. Other people call it mentors. I'll say mentors are Toastmasters. Toastmasters as a whole is a mentoring organization. Honestly, when I first walked into Toastmasters in 1999, I was getting high every single day, which is why I hid and didn't give speeches at all and it took me so long to get my first CC or CTM, which is now, was a CC, which is now, I don't know, a level two or three, who knows what the heck it is now in Pathways. But Toastmasters is what caused me to find recovery. And then, although I'm coming up on 19 years in January, I stepped away from recovery for 18 years or 16 or 17, I'm not exactly sure what. And it's only by coming back into Toastmasters that I now am back in recovery. So it's wonderful and interesting how that mentoring relationship actually keeps stepping up, right? Mentors are everywhere. They're here to help you. They're here to help me. 
Y'all, we really need role models in our lives, people to look up to, people to aspire to, people to move forward. And it's through those relationships. And I have to tell you, I was crying, Julie, because I wasn't raised believing that I was worth anything. So when those texts came in, you and the group showed me a different view and how I want to be there and that for you guys. I just have to say, with the Southern, y'all, I mean, really, it's all what I've been hiding. And this whole speech was about how mentorship helps me stop hiding and stop living in fear and see that there's another opportunity. And this meeting, y'all, really, when I wasn't allowed to use that word as a kid, I only, my Southern accent only comes out when I'm really, really tired or exhausted. People will see it and be like, well, I didn't know you were from the South. Well, of course not, because I talk like a Yankee, right? That's what I'm supposed to talk like. And here, I'm supposed to do this speech on mentorship, and then Julie gives such an accolades that I wasn't expecting, and everybody else, and what I really want to say, and I know this is all over the place, is reach out to anybody who has something that you like or want and ask them to help you. Anybody can help you for anything, right? It, even parenting. Right now, my life is just crazy with parenting, and I'm just looking for anybody who can help me just calm my mind and find peace and love in the relationship and i have to say julie you have been my mentor it's gone both ways uh, julie has been helping me really get some clarity on what a relationship with the opposite sex should look like and she's asked me questions as to what it is that you want and i was like whoa is that something i actually have the choice to ask right like i didn't know that like who doesn't know that kind of crap right but for some reason, I didn't know that. And then she gave values. And I was like, really? Is that something that's possible? Like, I had no idea. So what a mentor does in your life is they open up your world to more. And that's why we're here on Toastmasters, for more. And so I challenge everybody to find anybody who has what you want, somebody who's better and stronger than you, and don't be scared of them as I have, but go up to them and say, hey, I love what you're doing. What is it that you're doing? Find a relationship, build a relationship, and my world has exploded by doing that, and so will yours. Mr. Toastmaster. Holy crap, y'all.